Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Today's episode is on how to teach your child to play. Does your child play appropriately with their toys or do they line them up, dump them, throw them, or basically ignore what you give them to play with? Um, today I'm going to show you uh, one way that you can teach them how to play appropriately and it's called a work system. It's a term coined by the folks from Teach out of North Carolina and actually it's one of the 24 best practices recognized by the National Professional Development Center on Autism Spectrum Disorders. So, what is a work system? Basically, it's a, a procedure to visually answer these four questions. What work? How much work do I have? How do I know when I'm done? And what comes next? Uh, I've got several examples to show you today, so let's get started. This one, basically, is um, how to play with cars. And it's a work system, so let's review if we've answered those four questions. What work? To take these cars and run them into a garage. How much work? There are three cars. How do I know when I'm done? When the last car goes in the garage, and what comes next? The computer. I've set up a work system here to play with Legos. Let's see if it answers these four questions. What work? To build some Legos. How much work? One stack. How do I know when I'm done? I put everything in here. What comes next? The iPad. So let's get started. The child takes the first Lego, puts it on here, the next one, and so on until they've got a tower. They put everything in here when they're done, and then it's time to go play with the iPad. Here I've set up a work system for drawing. It answers those four questions. What work? I'm going to draw. How much work? I've got three markers. How do I know when I'm done? When I've colored with all three. And what comes next? I get to listen to music. If you have a little boy or a little girl that you would love to teach how to play with a baby, well here's a work system for that. What work? Pick up the baby. How much work? You have several things to do. Feed her the bottle. Feed her the orange juice. Put her into bed. Cover her up. And what comes next? A snack. This is the last work system for play I have for you today, and this is basically putting two faces uh, on characters in a book. That's the work. How many faces to? How do you know when you're done? Everything goes in the done basket. What comes next? The computer. So the student basically just puts the magnetic faces on. One. Two. All done. Time for computer. We all want to play on the floor with our kids. Hopefully with the strategies that I've given you today using a work system on teaching play, you can actually begin this at home today. Once your child understands what you want and what they'll get when they do what you want, then you've got a real strategy to teach this important skill. If you'd like a list of the 24 evidence-based practices for autism, go ahead and go to the resource page on our website and click on the National Professional Development Center on Autism Spectrum Disorders. Thank you for joining me here at Behavior Communicates, where I help you create a life for your child or your student that you both get what you really want and you really need. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you next time.